Okay, hello dear friends. <laughs> not good. So it's not a successful opening. So <clears throat> everything goes better when toasted. And this one, the chocolate will not come out. You can see there are three, four, five, six layers of it. So it's okay. Put it in. Put in your toaster. And now we will start to heat it up. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Fix it. I am sorry. Something the, the the tripod didn't work as desired, and because there are three or four layers of uh, of the the crepe, so it does not get the chocolate from inside melted and make your toaster dirty. I think. I got one friend ask if the chocolate will be melted. There is not a problem because of the layer, and also, um, and also, um, and uh, and also when you eat it, you eat it when the. The, when the crab, when the roll cools down, right? So when it is cooled down, the chocolate is not uh, uh, runny, so it will not make your toaster dirty. I think uh, I, I got this friend asking if it is runny because you do not want your toaster getting dirty. It is true. I do not want my toaster get dirty with chocolates, with caramel, with uh, burgers, all these things. And uh, I toast it just, uh, uh, and it is dirty, it's because of use, uh, long time use. Any family has a toaster that, uh, that is quite colorful like this, that is real life. Right, so you can see it getting, getting toasted, and the color becomes darker. And uh, one thing you can take it out, take out, uh, and in the plate to cool it down. And actually, if it is not totally burned, it's not too burned. You can just leave it inside so the heat still working on it and it's not um, it's not uh, it's not too hot it's a slow heat the cuisson n'est pas fini c'est toujours um, continue it, it continue so when you take it out there's no more heat but if you inside it it actually still have some heat and it makes your your uh, your crepe even crispier and it will not get your toaster dirty so i leave it for a couple of minutes now it's already three minutes i usually how i do it i throw it in put it in i put on not too hot fire, not too hot heat. And um, if I put on higher heat, I take it out immediately because I use it very often. I use this toaster very often. I know to how, how many degree, how much I, I, I turn it on, it's perfect. I already know my perfect formula. And right now, this is kind of a perfect formula. Uh, and uh, so it allows me to let it heat after, after the, 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 the toaster jump up. And uh, this one should have a, a, a beautiful caramel uh, roasted color. Now we are almost 
almost about to take it out. Still we can leave it a little bit. But anyway, you can take a look here. Here we have some part a little bit toasted, but no chocolate coming out. And this one is less toasted, but still is quite good. It depends on the location. Okay, now we can take it out and cut it. We can take a, a good look at it. I intentionally do not do any editing. This is real time. There's no speed up. There's no. Uh, uh, there's no time shortened. Okay, take one out. Another one out. See. The color does not show, do the justice of it, because uh, the background is too dark. The background is too white because of the color contrast, so it does not show. It's not a burnt. It's perfect. Okay. Now I will cut it open. And you can see the chocolate. Okay. The chocolate is perfect. Okay. I will damage it a little bit so that you can see. Sorry, I will damage it a little bit so that you can see clearly. So this is the chocolate. And this is how it looks. Even closer. Give me a minute. Put it a bit down. Yeah. This way we can see it. But yeah, this is the chocolate. So it's not totally melted. And it's perfect, crispy and crunchy. Bon appetit!